Hey folks, well, it's the day of all days. We're heading to SEMA. Um, you're gonna actually see some cars instead of four middle-aged men talking. Uh, <laughs> One VA powered, Mark One Golf or Rabbit, it is over here. Amazing truck, just an amazing truck. Look at the engine. That time it's like properly laid down there, right? Really Green and white is always a wonderful combination. Look at this. Oh, yes. That's why we come here for this. Show's over, let's go home. Yeah, we're done. Andy seen exactly what he came for. Let's try that again without people walking across. Dodge truck, man. Uh, a mad looking tech rod right here. That is some big wheels. Found this hiding behind a gigantic lifted truck, so it's one of the few things that has no one standing in front of it. That is a nice turned out engine. We're in SEMA! Yay! It happened. We travelled a million miles. No exaggeration. Actually, we're not technically in SEMA yet. We're outside the inside of SEMA. Welcome to see everybody. Quite like in these. It's like the ultimate vehicle to go hang with your mates in. Three row seating. Three row seating. It's a good look. Oh, good look. <laughs> no, see that this is like this I'm all in on because it's correct. It's not just a show thing. This will actually do all this thing. Four wheel steering, 
It's got all of the suspension you could ever need. It's painted in bed liner everywhere. Yeah. Pickup show, sure, Rod. Beautiful. made it back to our palatial pad of palatialness and Simon's here yeah. and uh, Andy's eating a cookie so I'm not going to film him for a moment. Um, I'm going to ask everybody else what their favourite things were from this morning and then attempt to splice into this vlog those cars. So Simon, yes. what's your favourite thing from this morning? Oh, uh, well I wanted to see Porsches, I wanted to see the 356 and we saw that almost immediately, that was good. Uh, and then I wanted to see that Cayman, which was quite spectacular, and you all were like, went <gasps> when you saw that, so that was rather splendid. Um, and the other one that was behind it, yeah, with, that was nice, with the red wheels, I wish I knew more about that. There were just then, women standing in front of that at all times. That's right, yeah, they're annoying women in a way. Yeah, It's definitely. so annoying. Um, and then, uh, I liked, strangely, the thing, you know when something, you like something because you didn't really know why you liked you, it took you by surprise. The beige F-150 crew cab that was just mm. sitting on. Well, they wrote it for those wheels. They were big ones. Yeah, I wrote it for them. It just looked amazing. I mean, I wouldn't want to drive it in the UK, but that was a, a lovely car. And then... You couldn't drive it in the UK, it wouldn't fit. Yeah, the there was some other just really nice stuff. Uh, you're going to turn around to Andy. I'm and the House of Colour booth. Which yeah, did you like? The House of Colour booth was absolutely house insane. That Corvair is one of the most ridiculous things we've ever seen. Um, Obviously, the black four-door 63 Lincoln Continental hardtop. You, you like Lincoln Continentals? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly keen. Oh, um, nice. I like them, you know, a bit. Oh, that's good. That would be my take-home car, and that's not going to change, I shouldn't think, unless no. I see a better 63 four-door. I don't think you're going to find a better 63 four-door than that. That thing's insane. No, it was. Uh, Dan's over there, so he might have to wave and yell a bit. Uh, what, what, just randomly? <laughs> it's the most sensible thing you've said all day. <laughs> <laughs> and that was his favourite car. So, uh, uh, I'm, I'm excited that uh, that um, Beige F150 on the four stand was absolutely great. It's just the unexpectedness of it. It's like, oh, yeah, I didn't yeah. expect like a new thing quite so much. And Beige. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, other favourite cars, uh, probably the um, third gen Cam uh, Camaro. On the Which one? Oh, okay. The Barrett Jacks one, yeah. The Barrett Jacks one, yeah. Barrett Jackson, yeah. Detail, that whole stand was crazy, as good. you'd expect. The, the fact that it had, uh, that was on the carbon fibre panels, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. They, but they painted the edges painted in. Painted the edges in, so the carbon forms the uh, Stripe. SS stripes over it. And it was that, really they nice. had just little panels all around it with uh, that were either, either carbon fibre 
or the dark sort of anthracite and then a silver pinstripe and just all over it that that detail just appeared on the in the engine bay on that strut brace strut that brace we saw the FA, on the dashboard yeah. corner on the little filler the the fillers on the roll cage we'll brilliant put some photos amazing in this. yeah there'll be photos that well you're probably looking at those photos right now and i uh, obtained a calendar for tab with that car on it yes you did so, so to you also failed to mention maybelline Maybelline was really good. Maybelline. What's Maybelline? It's V12 Lincoln convertible. I was going to say it's, I was going to say it's a Lincoln Premier, but I could be wrong. Could be. It was. It smooth. had a V12 with two superchargers and a line, which is cool. That's pretty cool. And the uh, standard of finish underneath, literally. You say, look, you know, you say, oh, it looks just as good underneath as it is on top. Well, this was very, very good on top, and just as good underneath, like you wouldn't. Believe. And it had those wheels. Which are white wall tire white wall as part wheels, of the wheel, which is which worked better on that than the other one we saw. It worked perfectly on that because of the it design. Really, of the, really, the really the good. Wheel. Yes, hopefully I, one or other of us have got pictures of this, so you yeah. can see what we're twittering on about. Hopefully, you're looking at these things now. Um, I weirdly liked a Corvette which um, is an early Corvette, I have no idea what year it was because American cars um, and it was all black with grey details and oh, I was very taken with it stand. it was on the Accuair stand, I was with very very taken screen. on it yeah, yeah, top screen, all of the things, it was really nice um, a couple of other bits and pieces, I even found some trucks I liked what about who knew? One? Uh, the beige one on the Ford stand it's not for me um, um, I actually, there's um, an interesting trend towards racing cars in America. They oh, seem to have, yeah. have really embraced time attack kind of styling and full house race cars. I actually really like the new Honda NSX that was on the Honda stand. And as a rule, I don't generally go for newer cars, particularly not newer supercars. But yeah, it was pretty, pretty intense. I like that. Um, it looked like it would fucking tear your arm off and, and, and scare you. So was not to love. Um, and I think I've got a photo of that. Hopefully you're looking at it. And I, yeah, the, the, the general level of cars is amazing. Yes. I, I think part of the odd, oddity of the show for me is the general level of the cars is amazing. Um, which means everything you look at is world class. So in relative terms, I'm looking for the thing that's phenomenal. You're kind of truly judging ideas yeah. rather than quality. Yeah. Because, because everything's just got yeah. quality. E everything you see is as good as it's going to get. So you're, I'm looking for the next good idea. Yeah. Um, oh, the, the, the green Corvair, sorry. Yeah, I'm obviously yeah, I've known about that car for a while yeah. um, on the House of Down. That, that thing was phenomenal. Amazing. Spoke to the owner and they're trying to sell it in the States. That and that clearly it. didn't tell me that's got a lot of zeros on the end of that. How much have we got on it? Um, I, I think if we have none. a, I think if we have a scrape around, I think I've got a, a, a couple of hundred dollars. I yeah. think I don't think he's going to take it though. It will have a whack ch a chat with him this afternoon. He'll want it in francs. Make an offer. Um, because he's francs. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. So uh, yeah, we're just having some lunch and trying to make our brains work again, and then we'll be back into it and looking at more cars. Yes, cars.